Hey, this is Sasha. Thanks for joining me in today's video. And what I want to do today is just show you a quick little clip, a glimpse, an insight to what we do in the options membership area. So if you're brand new to joining us, we do a lot of things with options. And uh, in this video, I'm going to show you a quick little clip from the members section of what goes on and happens behind the scene. Now, keep in mind, this quick clip is just truncated so it's smaller whereas in the member section you get the full video and even some of the sessions we go ahead and do them live so that way you get more insight on uh, in depth you can ask questions and uh, we can really cover some of the options topics uh, more heavily kind of based on the questions that you have and based on the market conditions. Now, if you want to join us in the options membership uh, area, just go ahead and go to our website. You can go to tradersfly.com. And by the way, there we have a getting started page for options. You can also check out some of the freebies here, uh, download a Greeks cheat sheet and much more. And uh, go to the member section by clicking the membership area right there at the top. And that'll forward you to our website where you can see a couple of different memberships that we offer like options, ideas and strategies. And you can then click that button to learn more. And there's a video overview of what that membership's all about. Now, I hope you join us. That way you get some more insight, more in depth uh, on your options trading. You can see some other strategies based on market conditions, it gives you some ideas how you would manage things, maybe Q and A's and kind of like think of it like a discount Q and A session or a discount coaching session because you could ask questions directly and I'm more honed in and focused on you. Whereas maybe if we do live events on YouTube, you know, sometimes comments and questions get buried in there and then, you know, you don't really get a chance to a little bit of focus on you. So anyways, um, hope you join us. Thank you so much. Enjoy this quick little clip as we have in this video. And keep in mind that the members area gets the full version. So I really hope you join us by going to our website at tradersfly.com. Let's first start with the vertical so you could see how I might approach this. Now this thing's been heading down, 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 down. So the good news is, is that since we're so far lower, we could probably get a vertical or sell a vertical somewhere around the 250, 300 range. So what I might do is go in and uh, look at the trade tab here and go maybe about 30 days out or so. But keep in mind, there are earnings coming up. So I probably want to get out of this uh, before mid-January or end of January. Uh, those earnings will be a bit, bit of a pain and problem. So maybe around 24 days is what I'm looking at. Uh, premium wise, I check my delta around the 10 is going to be 290. 295. So if I go about a 15 delta, that'll be about a 305. So let's do a vertical there. And what I'll do in this case, I will bump it up to maybe five contracts. Now, here's the thing stocks that continue to head down, I might do the vertical a little bit different. So I'll change it to custom, I will get a an extra put. And now this gives me a little bit of a spread right here where it pops that like why would I do this well the point of doing this is to go ahead and get some protection right without it it just continues to go down so down here at 280 I'd be down two thousand one hundred and forty three dollars but if I get that protection at 280 I'd actually be profitable at 310 I'd be down 127 without it I'd be down like 1200. So the point of this is um, to be able to slow down that curvature, but still have a bullish exposure. So now I'm, I could be up $475, but without it, I could be up 880. So you could make actually double if you don't get the protection. But the problem is, of course, is the losses. So I'm actually going to look at getting the protection here, but I'll do like a 10 11 spread, maybe. Um, why don't I do no, why don't I do nine? and 10 spread. There we go. That's a little bit better. And this is one version and variation to kind of being bullish on, on, the, on the stock. The other approach um, that you could do, let's take that same um, expiration, we'll go about 24 days out and we'll buy uh, the 31 days as protection. We'll do a bit of a diagonal. So the diagonal here, I'll go maybe to a 360, just a little bit out of the money. I don't want to go too far because it's been going, going down. But let's go here, buy a diagonal. And now what I will do is, uh, let's go again, uh, maybe 10 contracts for now, just for conversation's sake. And what I'm going to do is take this. Here's our calendar. So if we did a calendar, the strikes would be basically equal. You could see 360, 360. To get the diagonal the way that I want it, 
I could go 355 and now I've got that rotation. Now if I want to move it back a little bit just to give me a little range, I'll just move this five points, move this five points, and now I've got a bit of that diagonal. So the advantage of this is that if it sells off, you have the positive vega to kind of help you and cushion you a little bit on the downside. Um, the issue, I guess, is if it explodes really, really far, um, you, you know, it, the Vegas will hurt you a little bit and not to mention eventually it does form into this line. So the good news is if it goes slow, you can make more on here than you can with a vertical. Um, and, um, you know, but the positive Vega does help you out there. Anyway, that's another version and I will give you a third variation. Let's do a butterfly and, uh, a butterfly. Let's go to maybe a 30 delta or so go about 24 days out and I will do something here the reason I'm going further out is because I want to be bullish on it and I will do something again let's do about seven contracts here we'll position it at the 390 380 and 400 so let's see how that butterfly looks so it's kind of got a little bit of potential but let's spread the wings out five more points Okay, there we go. So this is a little bit more of a bullish butterfly. And the huge advantage to this is you're only risking $390 of capital. The problem is if it just kind of hangs around here for, for a bit, you are positive theta and that's good. But after a while, this will expire. So it's got to kind of move up for you. The advantage of some of these other ones right here, this one can stand still and you make money. Huge theta, 64. Uh, over here, you've got a six theta, but it can stand still. Um, with the butterfly, it has to kind of move, um, and let's just widen it even further a little bit. Uh, there we go. And now, uh, let's bump up a couple contracts. There we go. 10 butterfly spreads. So you're risking about $1,500, but it has to kind of move in this direction. Uh, but the advantage of this is you don't have to put up as much capital. So here I might be putting up 1650 to be able to make, let's say after a few days, maybe a thousand. So you can make a thousand out of sixteen hundred, so it's pretty good. But it's got to move. Uh, the diagonal here, you know, you're risking five thousand, a lot more capital. Uh, but it's got a, a, it can stand still, and you've got a sixty-six theta. So that's a bit of a difference. So here you got a little bit less theta. Here you got a little more theta, but you're even risking five thousand. So let's say we we're doing risking a little less. Like, uh, um, how much is the butterfly? 1600 so let's pretend we're risking about the same as the butterfly there we go you got a 20 theta here and this one you got kind of a 30 theta so the butterfly theta actually is very strong but you don't have the positive uh vega and uh it has to kind of move up for you if it starts pulling back you lose if it stands still you kind of win for a little bit um so it has to kind of move up with the di diagonal it can stand still or move up or pull back a bit and you're still good because you're kind of right in the middle. That's why it costs you a little more or extra. And this vertical, um, I'm basically doing with protection, but this one also can stand still, move up or move down a bit and you're still fine. Ultimately, you still want it to move up, but these are kind of three variations to the trait. All right, so there you go. I hope you got some good insight to what the options, ideas, membership is really all about. Really looking at the current market conditions, different strategies and things you could do and answer some of your questions, kind of like a little mini private Q&A in a way or more intimate at least. So I hope you join us. Just go ahead and go to the Traders Fly website right there. You could go to the members section. And once you go to the members section, you'll be linked up to the page here. So thank you so much. When you're ready, go ahead and, uh, you know, join us also on the newsletter list by clicking the link over here or subscribe on YouTube if you're brand new as well. Thanks again, and I will see you next time and hopefully in the options members section.